Hey guys, this is Eric Johnson, the inventor of the quick release truck mounting system by Quick Trucks, and I'm going to show you what to expect uh, when you get your package of parts from us. Depending on what kit you order, you're going to receive truck plates and deck plates, as well as hardware for mounting to your skateboard deck and your truck. As tempting as it is when you get these out of the package, do not press the buttons until they are mounted on your board because you can easily lose your parts before you ever even get to use it. I lost it. Where'd it go? I can't skate anymore. Now that I've recovered my lock bar for demonstration purposes only, I'll show you how to set these up to make sure that the Quick Trucks logo is directly under the pivot cup. I'm gonna bolt it up with four nuts, four bolts, with the hardware that is included. This is my front truck, so I like to have one colored nut on it, so I know which truck is my front truck, being that I can take them off and on so easily. I think it's best to use hand tools when you're assembling a skateboard because you don't want to strip your drive out. When I install my deck plate, what I do is I get my truck that's gonna go, this is the rear of my board. I'm gonna take my rear truck, I'm going to insert it into my deck plate. Doesn't need to go in all the way. I have the two plates together before I install it on my board. And the reason why is that it is going to keep it more rigid as I mount it to my board. I install the screws into the board. It goes into the threaded plate that actually also has a nylock insert that acts similar to uh, a nylock nut that you're used to. Once I have it together, I'm gonna press the locks. I'm gonna knock the truck off. Now, when I go to assemble it, I'm gonna push it in hard and I'm gonna listen for that clicking sound. That tells me that it's locked. If you don't do it that way, if you just push it in softly and don't hear that click, it would be, and you tried to skate, it would be like skating without putting a nut on your wheel. So you have to make sure when you assemble these that you have that click. There's also a visual indicator on the lock bar itself. The dot of the eye on click is what you need to see. If you see that, you know that your lock bars are completely engaged. 